Hi Libra. Welcome. I'm going to do a reading for 2024. It's an overview, so please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? So first we're going to look at just an overall view of the year. Not for you. Okay, so there is something that is not for you. And not always, but typically, this card means that you are doing something that you really don't want to be doing. Mm -hmm. It is possible that it could be somebody or some situation, you know, is coming up where you need to do something or feel you need to do something and you don't like it. But usually, my experience has been that... It is something that you're currently doing and you don't want to. You want to create change. Okay, let's see what else we have. Yeah, okay. Here's where you need to make choices. You know, it might be a little confusing or trying to figure out which way to go. And it's saying, use your intuition. You know, try to clear out any confusion and find what is right for you. And that is what you need to go for. Okay? Now let's get a card for your overall energy. Fabulous. You have the King of Pentacles. I love this energy. Uh, the King of Pentacles has, you know, earned his way up to that status. He is a king. He knows what he's doing. And it's a very earthy energy. He's very caring, and it's also the energy of having the Midas touch. So, the decisions you make are most likely going to lead you to abundance, which is a wonderful thing. And, like I said, it's very caring you know, you're not in a grand hurry. It's, uh, to me, it's a calming energy. Okay. This is the Eight of Swords where you're feeling stuck. And this particular placement is for those in your life, others in your life. It could be one person. It could be a group. It could be co-workers, whatever it is. And it's this is where you're feeling stuck. So this is saying that um, in 2024, you might have experiences of being around people that you do not want to be around. They make you feel stuck. So the best answer, to get away from those people. You know, you want people in your life that lift you up, not make you feel stuck. All right. Now let's go ahead and clarify your overall energy. Lovely. This is a card of nostalgia, but what it has with it is caring, love, it gives you the feeling that somebody cares about you and you care about them. It can also say that there's something from your past that could be coming back up, say an idea that you had that you want to pursue or particularly, particularly if I can talk, a person. So it has a potential to be problematic if it's connected to one of these, but it doesn't have to be. It depends on where you are at this point, okay? If you have stopped this, then it would be somebody you want in your life, okay? So, overall, it looks like you've been doing something that you don't want to do. Here, you're trying to make a decision to get out of that, to do something you do want to do. And here, I would say you definitely are making that decision, and you might be getting help from somebody else, somebody that you care about, 
or an idea that you have, right? That helps you get out of that. All right, now let's see the good stuff. Ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. This is huge. This is under the good stuff. So this is saying you have help here for you. If you want the help, you've got it. And right here is like a helping hand as well. So already you have lots of help. But do be willing to ask for it and accept it. Okay, here, closing out of a cycle that's been challenging, mm -hmm. to start something new, getting rid of what does not serve you, to go for your sunrise, your happiness. This is potentially conflict, training, competition, so, what I'm feeling from this is angst, you know, a little discomfort. And it could be from closing out of this. Maybe this is something that you have done for a long time because you feel like it serves those you care about, right? But there is a time to stop doing something, you know, make what it is you want a priority. And now, challenges, opportunities, have faith in your dreams. Okay, yes, definitely have faith in your dreams. Because here, it looks like you're totally recognizing what it is you don't want. And you're getting rid of it. And the challenges that go along with it. You have help here, you have help here. So have faith in your dreams and go for it. Beautiful. This is saying you're rising up. In other words, you're getting out of whatever this challenge has been and going for what it is you truly want, your dreams. Okay, this is, to me, you know, going right along with that. Here you're feeling stuck. Here you're feeling stuck. People in your life. So... You're letting this go, rising up, and going for your dreams, okay? Let's get these over a little. And now, let's take a look at your thoughts and desires. Ghost. This is a very similar energy as the Six of Cups. This is saying somebody from your past or something from your past looks like it's coming back into your life. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that you most likely want to come back. Okay, here you have the Hermit. This is where you're going in using your wisdom, your intuition to help guide you to where you're going, where you want to be, okay? <laughs> Beautiful. You have the sun. So this is going to be quite successful. And it might very well, like I said, be an idea. Something, and I get a feeling it could very well be an idea. Because here, you're doing something you don't want to do. And this is what you do want to do. And right here is this decision, right? Do I continue to do what I don't want to do? Or do I go for what it is I truly want? And over here, in your thoughts and desires, 
you want what it was that you've wanted sometime in the past. You don't want what you currently have. And just to, you know, give an example, say you want to be an artist, but you have this job offer that's just too good to turn down. The money, you know, will provide for your family. So you take it. It's not what you want, but you do want to provide for your family. So you take your desires and put them on the back burner. Now, here's your thoughts and desires, right? You want this thing that you've wanted for some time. And you go in, do your soul searching, <laughs> so to speak. You find your way through all the years or months or how long it's been to come up with what is real and right for you. Which is the sun. You can't get a better card than the sun. So this is saying, bring in what it is you've wanted for some time. It's going to bring you the happiness, the abundance, the love, everything you've been wanting. It's going to come in for you. And this is even where miracles are possible, right? So you go for what it is that you've been wanting. All right? Now, let's see how to go forward. I am trying to carefully shuffle so I don't disturb these cards. But it could happen anyway. I think I'm going to have to do it over here. There we go. Okay. How to go forward. The abundant universe will provide. So in other words, just have faith. Take action, but have faith that it will come to pass. Okay? That is how to go forward. Faith is huge. <laughs> Take a look at that. Love it. You're going to be victorious. If you have faith and go forward with what it is that you truly want, you are going to be victorious. And you see in the background, that's support for you. So you have support in this. Oh my gosh. I hope you were watching that. Hard to believe. You have the same card twice. How to go forward. Believe and have faith that you can. And the universe has cards come out twice to put an emphasis on that energy. So the universe is telling you, you definitely will be victorious if you believe in yourself and go forward with what it is that you truly want. Gives me chills. It's fabulous. Okay. Now... Let's go ahead and get a clarifying card for your overall energy. Woo. Yeah, I, can, I keep looking at this. It's just fabulous. Okay. You have the Page of Cups. So here you are being this wonderful King of Pentacles. Not in any crazy hurry. Being methodical going for your pentacles, and being very caring. And the Page of Cups is taking steps towards what they love. Fabulous. Okay, now about um, others in your life that are making you feel stuck. Okay, you had a couple that jumped out. One, it's going to change. Here is unconditional love. So you're going to get out of this energy where there's people in your life that you don't want. There's going to be unconditional love with the people that are coming in. And you have the Three of Cups. That is very similar. It's saying that you're going to surround yourself with the people that you care about, that you love, that love you. It's a very calming, happy 
energy. And it could be a celebration. For me, it's also one of my cards of your support system. So you're, in essence, trading in the people that are not good for you. Okay? For people that are filled with unconditional love and that you feel very comfortable with. So that's fabulous. Now, for the outcome. What you want is here for you. So, whatever this has been that you've put off for a long time, it's here waiting for you. All you have to do is go and get it, okay? And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, which fits in beautifully, you have the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is pretty much no frills energy. She's wise. She's tenacious. All she wants is the truth. She goes for the truth. And that's exactly what you're doing, going for your truth. Okay? Now, let's clarify that. Okay. <laughs> I love it. A new beginning. Here's your new beginning, and it's what you're really passionate about. So your very last card is you having the new beginning that you've wanted for a long time. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the devil. And for me, that is saying you're letting go of what's not for you. See? You are bringing in what is just right for you, what you're passionate about, and letting go of what it is that you have felt chained by, that you felt you had to do. Amazing. So yeah, to me, this whole reading is... You've been doing something that you really did not want to do. And it could have been for an extended period of time. But 2024 is going to bring in what you've desired for a long time. And that's relative, okay? Only you're going to know exactly how long. But it's going to bring in this huge shift where you're going to be able to do what it is you've really wanted to do. Have faith in your dreams. Lift yourself up. Go in and search internally. And it's going to bring you the sun and victory. Okay? Fabulous. Love it. Okay. Now let's see what the universe would like to share. Yes, it looks like 2024 is going to bring... Huge changes to you that you are going to love. And a big part to me is also the people that have been in your life that have made you feel stuck are leaving. And they're being replaced by unconditional love and people that you feel totally at ease with and your support system. Beautiful. Okay. You have the magician that is saying you are manifesting what it is you want. You have the king of wands. Love that. Okay, the king of wands goes for what he wants, goes for his passions, whatever they may be. He's very adamant, very strong. You know, it's one of these doesn't take no for an answer. He usually gets what it is that he's after. So you're manifesting your desires in a very powerful way. And, oh my gosh, look at this. Six of Wands, three times. The universe is definitely giving you a huge message here. You are going to be victorious. You go for what you want and what apparently you have wanted for a while. You're going to be victorious, times three. And here you have the Queen of Pentacles. And your overall energy is the King of Pentacles, right? 
So you have divine counterparts here. Very stable. You know, your income's going to be fine. Your career, you're going to love. Your home life is going to be filled with love. Security is here for you. It's going to be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, let's see what the angels would like to share. It looks like 2024 is going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, you have victory times three and the sun. Finances are going to be good. It's looking wonderful. And don't forget, if you need help during this time, you need to make for sure that you ask for it. It is here for you. And that's any kind of help, you know, emotional, financial, physical, whatever it may be. Be assertive. That goes right in here with the King of Wands. He is assertive, powerful. And here it's saying you need to do the same. Okay, and I can see that because if you've been doing this for a while, you you might need to be assertive to create this change. Okay, here it's saying not the right time. And I'm sure that not the right time is do not stay in here. It's not the right time. You've put in enough time. It is time to create the change, to manifest what it is you've been truly wanting. Okay? Beautiful reading. Okay, now, these tea leaf cards are intended to maybe confirm some of what's out here. Or, you know, a year is kind of a long time, so maybe little things that could come up. Um, so we'll see. Something interesting is when I do the other readings, usually these jump right out, fly all over the place. During most of the readings for 2024, they have not, which I find very interesting. Let's see if you even get one. No. Okay. Okay. But at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> you have that. It says, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. So this is confirmation of your reading. Now I have to do this in two piles because this deck is so huge. So let's see if something comes out in this half. Well, possibly. Success. Okay. Let's see. The first one, heart. Love, deep affection, and caring. Beautiful. Second one, cup. You should accept valid criticism. And yeah, that's true. When somebody is giving you constructive criticism, that's a good thing. But there's a huge difference in just picking on you and giving you good constructive criticism. Know the difference between the two, okay? Here, you have success. So this is letting you know that you are going to be successful. And now I would say this one at the bottom of the deck is a potential warning. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. And this instantly makes me go back to this. Unhealthy relationships. And, you know, being here in this energy that you don't want to be in. Somebody might, I'm using, again, job as an example. Somebody might be saying, no, you can't leave. You know, you owe us this or you owe us that or whatever the case may be. So 
just keep that in the back of your mind, all right? Because you make this change, it's going to be beautiful. Don't let a bully stop you from doing that, all right? Okay, let's get a charm or two. Let's close this out. Beautiful reading. I love it. Okay, I'm going to get a couple here. What do we have? <laughs> to me, this goes right in with the be assertive. You know, shout it from the rooftops. Let it be known. I am going for my passion. I am not staying here anymore. I am going for my victory, for what it is that I truly want. Love it. And what do we have here? Ah, you already have that once right here. No, you don't. I'm sorry. Let me take that back. I thought you had a card about faith. Yeah, you do. Here it is. Have faith in your dreams. And here it's saying have faith. Have faith and let it be known that you are going for your happiness. Thank you so much. I truly hope this helps. And please give it a like. Subscribe if you would like to be notified of more readings. And share if you know somebody that this might help. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful 2024. Much love. Bye.